Res 209 Aviation donated two Canadian dollars and 79 cents. Res 209 Aviation donated two Canadian dollars and 79 cents. Res 209 Aviation donated two Canadian dollars and 79 cents. All right, all right. You know what? Let's already start. I kind of messed up. Oh, wrong button. I kind of messed up the timer here. Sorry, you guys. Welcome, everybody, back to the channel. Another Swiss is there one live stream. How are you guys doing on this beautiful, holy Sunday? I hope you guys are doing very, very well. Is everything going good? Is everything, is everything, is everything fine? Here? Yes. Now, I do have to ask one question. Rez, why again? I've, I've, I've asked that before, but why? Would you donate before the stream even started? But, but, but what is that now? Why would you donate before the stream stream starts? What's the point? I mean, thank you very much, but why? Right? No. In today's video, we don't need any of this negative stuff. We um, have a very, very um, serious agenda today. Everybody, we're going to fly this plane here. The Canada Air CL 200, something like that. It doesn't really matter. And, um, the thing is, I've flown this before in some videos. This is, of course, a firefighting plane. It's French. Is it French? Canada Air. It sounds very can. Is Wait, which country is this thing even from? Wait a second. We have to investigate now. Canada Air. Zeno donated $2. So, you should make a video trying out that seam. That seam? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, you're right. Probably. Anyway, okay, never mind. It's a Canadian. Okay. Actually, Bombardier. Anyway, the plane in real life is good. The plane is in real life is good, but... The add-on sucks very much. It's very much bugged. We're gonna probably have a lot of screams today. A lot of, um... Depression, a lot of, you know, moments like that, you know, the moments that we enjoy on the channel. How about that? Everybody, yes, the CL215. Now, let's go ahead and, um, there we go, already pressed, ready to fly. Now, the thing is, we are back here. Look, we've even got already a bug. What is that? What is that now supposed to be? Some, some weird <laughs> water spray out of the engines? Is that supposed to be fumes? What is that even supposed to be? What are they trying to make here? What is the point here? It's already broken. This isn't gonna go very well, this stream, I can tell. Anyway, yes, the location of this stream, we are back in the Caribbean, everybody. Um, and this is perfect, actually. The thing is, I've 
plant this route right here, you know, with all these airports. But we don't even properly need these airports at all. We can just land in the water with this airplane. And that's kind of the point of this thing. Um, so it's great that um, we have this here. And let's go ahead and fly this. Hello, Rez, again. Oh, man. Res 209 Aviation donated two Canadian dollars and <laughs> 79 cents. If you're not flying this in Canada, I swear. Um, okay, this is awkward now, Res. I'm sorry. We're, uh, we're in the Caribbean. Maybe it, it would have been a good idea to fly this thing in Canada because there are so many proper, um, licensed, um, sea landing strips, right? So, um... Yeah, anyway, we don't have that here in the Caribbean very much, but let's just go ahead and actually try to properly fly this plane. And for that one, let's go ahead and actually just hop into the cockpit. Now, yes, this is already where the problems probably begin. Um, I mean, we, we should we should probably turn, or be able to turn this plane on just like every other plane on this planet. Let's try that now. Hello, Josh. Josh oh, welcome back. How you doing, man? And 79 pence. Hi, Swissman. Are you going to respond to me on Insta? I'll try to do it after the stream, okay? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so wait, um, do we only have external power in this airplane? Uh-huh, DC power, master generator, that's the, is that supposed to be the battery switch? It is. What, what has just happened? What the hell? Did we just turn on the airplane? What the hell? Ah! Oh, Tanner! Hello, man. How you doing, man? How's Germany going? OMG. Spry Evasion donated $10. WDF, you didn't pick me up from FRA, but you had the nerve to post a bit at the time my flight arrived. Also, you should have put that TikTok ID in you in two days, vid. Yeah, the thing is, I, I saw your I saw your I saw your message about that TikTok, and I and, and I, I had already recorded the TikTok video, so I'm, I'm sorry, man, Tanner. But you you arrived at at, at Frankfurt Airport at like six a.m. Um, and so uh, how how was I supposed to pick you up? Anyway, this has gone fairly easy. Uh, I didn't think the plane was gonna turn on this quickly. I kind of am doubting the realism now. There we go, just turn on the, the battery switch and that is all that was needed. Now, I'm wondering really, because all these other switches seem to be at least interactable and that's kind of weird. Um, I guess, you know, I'm just too good of a pilot so I've, I've accidentally turned on the plane already. So I've Duncan Diamond Balls <laughs> donated three dollars. You though I had left. Yeah. You know, we're back, everybody, with the usernames. Everybody, okay! I guess that was the quickest startup in existence ever. Maybe not particularly realistic, but let's maybe try this taxi now. Um, we've kind of messed this... I've messed this up, haven't I? We have no reverse thrust on board this plane, do we? We do not, right? There's no reverse thrust. So that's gonna be weird now. Um... I guess we're, we're gonna have to cheat a little bit because I've run into the building. Because of our very... Oh my god! Hello, Kewi! Or... How do you have a... Javi 1395 donated 4 euros and 99 cents. Hello Swiss 01. I am happy to be part of the stream and to watch your exciting flights with various Thank machines. Thank you, man. Ich spreche auch Deutsch. Ich spreche auch Deutsch. Ah! Oh, you try to ha ha make the... Make the uh, voice say say German ver didn't really work very well. But there we go. We started on the... We started the airplane. Now, does it sound healthy? Not at all. Actually, in fact, uh, this is probably a very bad idea to take this off now. We have got literally 800 rotations or revolutions per minute on the clock. I don't know. If you just joined in, by the way, I accidentally turned on the airplane. Uh, it's broken. All right. Anyway, I guess we can we can just tax down to the runway. Here we go. Uh, this is probably going to go very wrong. And I mean, it. It neither does it sound healthy or look healthy. I mean, I don't know what's wrong here now with that smoke that's coming here. You know, that's interesting, I guess. But let's just go ahead and actually just, well, fly the aeroplane. Why does ev why does everything here look so blue? I don't know why, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about the color scheme here. Why is everything so blue here? Can you tell that as well? Like, I don't know, something's off the white, with a white balance here out of the cockpit window. Like, the white balance is different, isn't it? Look, it's blue versus, like, yellowish. You know what I mean? And then here's blue again? Ah, uh, no, here's the norm normal. And here's blue. I'm blue, double D, double die, and we've actually just turned. Wait, we've taken off. This is rather crazy. We've got some good control now of this plane. Let's go ahead and actually already try to land this plane, but not like the normal people's on the runway. 
let's go ahead and land it in the ocean. For that one, let's go ahead and... Oh, let's turn on, let's turn on the replay mode, first of all. There we go, replay mode. Looking good, let's turn it on. Perfect. Now, I don't even want to come in for a landing. And we don't have life weather turned on, which is why the water is so inc incredibly flat, which looks weird. Ah, there we go, much better. Good now. I don't know, this is what I've been wondering about here with the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. They have implemented water quite well, I think, you know, with waves and problems and stuff like that, but it is still a little bit too flat. You know, I would love to see, like, GTA 5 water, for example. That would be very awesome. Anyway, never messing around, doing nothing. Let's come in for a bit of a landing, which is not working very well. I've had this issue when I was recording that one video about this plane as well. Uh, you don't have really proper throttle control. Like, uh, there's no idle here. This plane always runs at, like, a certain amount of power. Like, there's no way to go out idle, and therefore, there's no way to properly flare this aeroplane. So, you basically have to throw this to the ground and, I think, even turn off the engines so that the plane stops, right? Wasn't it, wasn't it like that? Because this plane is so broken. Uh, maybe we can force it. Come on, force it. Force it down into the water. Now, is this a safe operation? Not really. But, you know, we have to, we have to get this plane landed. Something I do want to try is, of course... Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Let's maybe go ahead and get the thing flooded. How do we do that? God. Um. Yeah, this is what I mean. There's no proper way to stop here as well on the water at all. Look at this. Like, it's impossible. What's up, Air Dog, by the way? Good one! Yes, thank you guys for watching this uh, stream. This is Dolphin001. But we've done a landing in a seaplane, at least, somewhat. It isn't good. It wasn't good of a landing for sure as well. But let's go ahead and, well, take off again. Here we go. Here's the beautiful sound of the engines that sound absolutely ugly. Let's go ahead and get, uh, you know, I, I was about to say let's get the landing gear up, but we don't need that. <laughs> because the sea plane, you don't land this with, um, thing. Anyway, is there, it's like, do we have water on board? Let me go ahead and dump some water right here. Yes. Yes! Here we go, we've dumped some water. At least that kind of works in the flight simulator. That's all right. And we've probably broken the whole system now because we've done the emergency dump kind of thing. But that doesn't matter. This is fine. Now, I do would like to demonstrate a landing also on a normal runway. You know, for example, runway that we've got in front of us, of course, Princess Diana Airport with, uh, is this the air? The, uh, yeah, I think this is actually the island of St. Martin. Let's go ahead and land there as well. Why is the water gray now? Cullen Bellows donated $4.99. Isn't this plane common with Seven. being used for fires? Yeah, it's used in France uh, these days a lot still. Why is this gray? This looks like England now. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, it kind of does. But this is the Caribbean. Don't disrespect the Caribbean like that. All right, so where's Princess Julia? Aha, there it is. And do would like to come in for a landing here? This is runway 10 here of Princess Juliana. Let's do it. I, I guess the thing is, again, flaring just simply does not work because the, I don't know, the throttle control is just absolutely broken. There is like always running at some certain amount of ro ro revolutions per minute. And my God, I'm really just noticing the blueness here in the cockpit, right? Look at that. There's such a big difference between like, you know, outside view and inside view. Anyway, there is, we're not stopping as well. I just wanted to mention that. There's like no way. Here we go, maybe. Oh god. I mean, that was fine. This is a seaplane, so that was. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> you know what? This might this might have been actually a good idea to make this plane crash. Now we are back at zero. You know, not speed or not. God damn it! I want to stop this airplane. The only thing we can do that though, the only way we can do that is, I guess, turning off the engines, which is kind of awkward. Let's go and turn off the mixture. Can we do that? How do we do that? There's no way even to interact with the mixer. How do we turn on the plane? Uh, maybe just press the ma battery switch? Remember, that hasn't done anything. Ah, oh, never mind, it has. Has it failed the engines? Not really. No. There's no way to get this plane landed! God damn it. Maybe just, just put it down. Maybe without the landing gear as well. That's probably a pretty smart idea. There we go. Yes! Look at that. Can we st. This thing won't come down! This is very crash-proof, though. I do have to say. How how am I how am I supposed to do this now? This is a little bit awkward. Alright, wait. I guess we can try coming for another landing here. Like there's no we're not there's like a not even a single knot that we're losing here. God damn it! 
Yeah, that's the reason why I've never actually done a full flight with this, because it's impossible. Like, you know, flying works, but the fall doesn't work, because you just can't land the... Look at this! I'm pressing the plane down into the ground, nothing's happening. 75... 70... It's not stopping... At all... More... It's just... Miserable. If we're gonna be taking off now, that would be weird. Ah, uh, you know what? No! Alright! So we have learned all it takes is to just not put landing gear down. And that's the way to stop. Now, I don't know what this is coming out of the engines. It looks like it looks like it's trying to mimic like like oil being burned, but that would be kind of purplish. Not quite sure. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't wonder if no way. No way. We're actually able to take off here still. Look at this! Mm hmm. I mean, that, that is quite a respectable power now of this airplane. But it's about driver, it's, it's about power after all. I mean, you know what they say. So the thing is, our next airport that I've planned as a destination is probably not going to work very well either. I mean, we've got St. Bartholomew will be the next one. It's, you know, this island over here. Yes, no, it's not St. Bartholomew. I mean, um, Saba Airport. The um, Dutch island. Actually, this island here with this, I think it's a volcano. Or at least it would be an active volcano. Or maybe it isn't even a volcano. It doesn't really matter if it's a volcano or not. But this island is actually the highest point of the Netherlands. Which is interesting. I mean, it's, you know, just an island that belongs to it. But, you know. God damn it. It's just absolutely horrendous, this airplane. I just wanted to mention that as well. Now, let's maybe see... Can we properly turn off those engines? Land without landing gear, which is probably the measures that we need. Come on. The measures we need to take in order to draw survive this. Mm hmm. Here we go. Sub Airport, it's right here. Look at this. Small runway. You know, even more ridiculous than uh, St. Bartholomew. I don't know how this is going to work. I've got a plan, though. This is literally the world's shortest runway. Plan is uh, how do we get those engines to just. Fuck off. Because they're not letting go, is it? I'm trying to run this at idle power. There's no way. Can we turn off the propeller control? There is nothing we can literally turn off in any way. Something we can try to do is, you know, um, fire. Put the engine out completely. Um, zone off. How does that work? Guess that's the one we need to do. Will this actually fail the two engines we have on board this plane? I don't know. Let's see. Discharge. Fire suppression. Fire suppression. I've, I've pressed it. It won't switch. God damn it. Now press this one as well. Yes. Still not turning on. Mm hmm. I can see. I'm not. Not. Um, what's the surface lock? I shut up now. This plane is absolutely broken. It's just absolutely annoying. Wait, no, let's not turn on the curve. Why for the carburetor heat is there a literal, literal lever? That makes no sense at all. Okay. Um. Come on. No, that's just testing the feather. There's no way to turn on this plane. I turn off this plane. Bypass fuel flow. I just wanted to turn off the fuel, actually. I haven't. Thing is, when you don't start, a, start off a plane, there's no way to turn it off either. All right, so let's turn. There's the, the fuel pump isn't even turned on. Fuel control switch. Can we get that closed, please? I mean, Jesus Christ. No, we can't. There's no way. Thank you very much. This is not very helpful, this airplane. Close all of that, please. It won't work. Ignition. Turn it off. Ignition. It won't even switch this one. It doesn't switch. Good, so there's no way we can let this plane down here on the runway. I just wanted to mention that. Are we going to be stopping? Maybe this is going to work. You know what? Maybe put the landing gear down just in order to... Oh. Right, now we're stopping. A little bit. Okay. Hmm. That might... That might have not gone very well. I don't know why the plane reacted so differently to our inputs now. That was weird. I mean, the engine apparently seemed to really turn off now, which was good. But I don't know why, but this plane acted like an RC plane, which makes no sense at all. It just crashed right there. Beautiful. 
Now, we need to just try to stall this out again. Maybe now without having a die that you're playing. Come on. Put the landing gear down. That's like a real problem here. All right. Come on, man. You can do it now, airplane. Oh, God. All right. What is now with the views? Why is, why is the view centering so weirdly? Look, when I let go, everything is broken here. Look at this. Going left. There we go. We're just re sensors to the. That makes no sense! Well, if the plane is truly, truly broken, maybe let's try to crash it into the ocean, see if that works, maybe? Yes! Finally, for once, the plane will come down on itself uh, by, um, you know. Not really working. We're back in the air again. Okay, very professional. Come on, just die already. I mean, honestly, now. Now, yes. I'm not feeling the stream today. This is bad. Now, is there any way we can get this plane? This is absolutely miserable. Why are they? Why are the French people still, still using this? It's not the plane in real life, it's just this add-on plane. Probably the plane in real life will be really sick, which is a shame, because this add-on is just absolute ass. My god. Alright, come on. Just go. Why would it die now? It just dies! I mean, come on, let's give it some more. There we go. Why would- why? Have the wings fallen? Okay, never mind, we have no speed. Okay, that makes sense. Why, though? Alright, look at those clouds here. They're kind of beautiful. You know, I, I was kind of trying to make up here. Good. Now, release this plane now. Get everything ready here. Flaps are set. We're still gaining up on a lot of knots here for no reason at all. Our engines are literally turned off. Like, I've literally turned them off. Like, or whatever that was. You know, this plane only deserves to be crashed at this point, but there's like no, no way to even crash this because it will just keep going. Engines will just keep running. Look at this. And we're literally gonna now taxi along here. This won't crash. This is inv invincible. I think uh, Lion Air should use this. God damn it. All right, what are we doing now? We're just sliding along. God, I hate this act. I'm starting to really properly hate this now. This is, this is just fueled by hatred, this. And it just takes off. What is that, what is that? I don't know, but that means it'll just compete and continue to take off. Are there solar panels like that on real life here at St. Bartholomew? Good. I mean, maybe we could um, help us along. I don't know. There's there's some ways to stop. Like, the thing is, wait, wait, wait. I wanted to actually do a little bit of an inverted flying now, but it's not possible to do that here properly, is it? Huh? All right. Well, that's the way to crash this planet of the ocean, but it'll just keep going. Look, we're even... It was about to take off. I'm starting to really hate this. Just the oil, oil burning animation. God damn it. Miserable. All right. Come on. Can we maybe check out some more of what this plane looks like? Because we have never actually talked about this plane. That maybe the interior. Oh, great. Look at, look at this interior. This is like literally the first Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 add-on plane to not have a visible cabin or anything or anything at all. Great to see, very nice. This is exactly what we like to see here. Oh, yeah, look at that nose. Looks perfectly realistic, doesn't it? God damn it, I'm, I'm really starting to properly hate this plane now. Like, even more than before, and I was already hating it. Kind of rhymed, actually. <sighs> Good water landings here. See, yes, sir, buddy. A little bit of a quick flight here through the Caribbean with the Canada Air. How well is it going? Not well. Is there, is there even a possibility to go on with this flight? Not really, since we actually, there's no way to get this plane properly landed. We can't even, we can't, like these, en these engines are invincible. They will just keep running. Right, so not even, like we, we cannot just turn them off or, or idle them. I mean, okay, that's too much to ask for to have proper tr throttle control. Right, so there's no way to get this plane slow enough to land. No flaring, no nothing. It will just not want to. It will just refuse. Yes, look at that. So what do we do now? End this misery! Alright. 
Thank you so much for watching this stream. Um, this is not bad. This is not good. Maybe, maybe we'll we'll be back with uh with a uh, with a with a better plane tomorrow or something. This is bad. It's just a, this like that's not good my, for my for my mental health. Either of these kind of planes, right? It's just you know the blood brush pressure and stuff like that. Not good at all. So yeah, guys. Good good stream. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, have a blessed fr uh, Sunday. And um, I'll see you guys around. Maybe with a better stream next time. <laughs> Goodbye.